how to not remember one's own thoughts. 1. All perceptions are brain and nervous system recordings of apparent discrete events that have already occurred at least a fraction of a second before awareness knows or perceives them. Therefore, all perceptions are memories. Because all perceptions are memories or psychophysical recordings of events that have already occurred, no perception is a direct and present time knowing of any discreetly perceptible event. Every instance of perception is a mode of thinking or a memory-based mode of knowing rather than an instance of concrete direct actuality of any event other than the memory-based perception event of the body-mind itself. Every instance of perception is participation in the perceptual knowing event or psychophysical memory process of the body-mind itself rather than an instance of the concrete actual arising of any outside event itself, prior to and apart from the process of knowing it. Fundamentally, there is no difference between conceptual and perceptual processes, because conceptual processes and perceptual processes are both modes of presumed to be knowing what is naively presumed to be outside or object to the point of view, rather than modes of being either the point of view itself or the any object itself. To perceive is to remember. To perceive is to be thinking. All perception is perceptual rather than conceptual thinking. Although both conceptual thinking and perceptual thinking may occur coincidentally. All thinking, whether perceptual or conceptual, is a psychophysical act of objectification. All psychophysical acts of objectification are enacted by and from, and as an extension and reflection of space-time location or point of view. Reality itself, and also the total universe of potential discrete perceptions, whether of objectified self or of objectified not-self, is always already egolessly and indiv indivisibly prior to the acts and the results of perception, conception and space-time locatedness or point of view. To know reality itself or in any moment to tacitly self-apprehend the egoless, indivisible reality nature, reality condition, and reality state of self, not self, and universe, is to intrinsically transcend, or to perfectly not know, the event or process of one's own apparent thoughts, or perceptions and conceptions. Two, in any moment, Remember one's own apparent thoughts or perceptions and conceptions is to know the ego I or presumed separate self and the ego objectified or not self universe and to be thus bound to object other point of view, space time, body mind and even all of perception and conception. Therefore, in any moment of one's own apparent or already caused, and already remembered, and already known thoughts or perceptions and conceptions, how is one to not remember, and thus and thereby to not know one's own thoughts? If, moment to moment, one were to not remember one's own thoughts, one would presumably always thus and thereby transcend self not self, object, other, point of view, space, time, body, mind, universe, and even all of perception and conception. However, it is intrinsically not possible to 
intentionally and thereby actively remember not to remember one's own thoughts, and thus and thereby to intentionally and thereby actively not know or to strategically uncause one's own already caused and already remembered and already known thoughts. Therefore, in any moment, how is one to not remember one's own thoughts? The not remembering of one's own thoughts is not a goal to be achieved or a problem to be solved by any possible seeking method, because all seeking methods are effectively thought-bound and problem-reinforcing efforts to intentionally and thereby actively remember not to remember one's own already caused and already remembered and already known thoughts and thus and thereby to intentionally and thereby actively not remember or to strategically uncause one's own already caused and already remembered and already known thoughts. To really not remember one's own thoughts, there must necessarily be intrinsic or tacit and prior self-abiding as the egoless, indivisible and self-evident self-nature, self-condition and self-state that is reality itself and that is thus always already egolessly and indivisibly prior to self, not self, object, other, point of view, space-time, body-mind, universe, and all of perception and conception of all of one's own thoughts. Therefore, to intrinsically or tacitly and priorly self-abide as the egoless, indivisible, and self-evident self-nature, self-condition and self-state that is reality itself, is the one and only and radical or always at the root and perfectly a causal reality way to not remember one's own thoughts. 2. All that is apparently perceptible as you has been adaptively programmed to think and presume and act egoically or in a manner that naively and exclusively identifies with a space-time located eagle eye or point of view, and altogether with a perceptual and conceptual predisposition that does not rightly, truly, fully and impl implicitly, implicitly coincide with the self-evident, intrinsic, indivisible and inherently egoless self-nature self-condition and self-state of reality itself. Therefore, this adaptively acquired psychophysical program of point of view based perceptual and conceptual ego identity and egoic activity must be tacitly self-understood, intrinsically self-denounced and perfectly self-transcended or priorly and thus perfectly not remembered only in and by means of intrinsic and thus perfect self-identification with the inherently egoless and indivisible and always already self-evident self-nature, self-condition and self-state that is reality itself. 